Hi guys, welcome back to Dream Queen. So I was gonna, I was getting ready to go to bed, and um, just can't. I was gonna leave this to do it later when I woke up from my nap, but um, something is pulling me to do it now, so I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna do Aries, um, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. I feel like it's more pulled to the divine masculine, like more of his energy than anything else. But you can definitely um. Put it as however it fits. Um, in the description, you'll find the links to my other channels, a link to the intro video that has my Spotify um, link and Jupiter 1111 and Sophia's as well. As all of you guys already know, Jupiter 1111 is the one that I got the gym package from, and I have been not live, but I have been doing her um, Saturday classes, so I definitely make sure that I always listen to them. She has some very, very good information on it. That has actually helped me more than what I thought I had. So I have my water and my candle ready, and I have my cards for my clarifiers that I do at the end. Um, if you have been watching the other videos, you are aware that I do not read the cards based on what they mean. Um, I go by what I feel. So let's see where Aries Energies is. Oh, before I forget, the song I have is um, Bizarre Love Triangle. I can't remember by who it, um, who sings it, but I'll definitely have it in the description. And the verse that spoke to me was, White, white, no, why can't we be ourselves like we were yesterday? So I'm sensing that there is maybe some people are putting up fronts, people are not being 100% honest with each other um, or with themselves. But we'll see what, what we get. You guys are hiding from me. <laughs> right now what I'm sensing for the um, Aries energy is basically trying to block everything and anything that does not have to do with either their DF or DM. Um, a sense of just wanting to go back to the beginning, to when you guys first met wanting like longing for that for the sense of home for the sense of um completion within themselves knowing that they deceive you and themselves by following um other people's opinions or advice i feel like the dm Aries energy is a lot in their thoughts right now. Just looking at, like revisiting every single mistake they made. For whatever the reason, like the energy seems seems to feel very um protective of what's going on in their heart, what is going on in their mind. That is really what I'm sensing. There's a lot of things that are still, um, there's a lot of things that is that are hidden, but it's not 
I don't sense like it's anything bad. It's just more of the Aries energy protecting their, not their feelings, but protecting protecting it as far as like not allowing other people to know what they're feeling um, towards you because they do not want people's opinion as far as like logical sense when it comes to to you and why they shouldn't love you and why they shouldn't be with you so and in essence they're just being very protective and very guarded of who they speak to when it comes to you and who they communicate these things to because that's not an essence of if they love you or if you're the right one they know it's more of not wanting to hear other people's opinion because of how they feel for you that's really what I'm sensing. I'm sorry, guys. I thought it was going to be longer, but it's not. Um, that is all I sensed. We'll clarify with the cards and see if anything else come up. Um... As far as communication, I don't see anything. Um, I don't sense anything from the water. All I know is like right now, like the current, current energy. Ooh, sorry guys. Um, sorry, I dropped the, like half the deck of the cards. What I'm sensing more is um, what they're going through in, internally um, as far as like trying to fight everybody off that wants to change their mind. Um, that's what I try to say. Anyways, we're going to pull one for the Aries energy as far as where are they as far as communication with their divine karma partner and where are they with the connection and how do they see you? So for as far as their communication, I have the Ace of, the Ace of Cups. Um, I feel that this is going to come in very swift and fast. Um, the communication is going to be completely... Everything is going to be laid down on a table, basically. So with the three of wands that i got for the connection i feel that everything that they have realized or everything that they have um come to acknowledge about the connection with you is all going to be told expressed um for a lot of you i feel you're gonna and don't if you do feel like they're putting up a front or like they're lying or like they're telling you what you want to hear but they're not putting up a front and they're not lying to you and it's not just words it's it's coming from the heart it's coming from their soul and it, as a DF there are a lot of things that we want from our masculine and when we get it we get so scared because we seem to believe that everything is a lie or everything is deceitful because that's what we're used to so all i am asking you is that when your aries person comes towards you and opens up to you in regards to everything is just to receive them with an open heart and as far as where they see you i got the knight of pentacle and with this is not so much that they see you as like a person with money or anything like that it's more of they're coming in with uh with a, like a gift uh something tangible something you can hold like it can be something as small as like a i don't know why i want to say sunflower or uh 
like a hair clip something that is significant to you but that doesn't have to be something huge as far as like money wise so it's going to be like a small token but it's something that is going to come from the heart and i mean they can show up with like a pink pen but it's going to be like the exact pink that you love or it's just going to be something that you have talked about maybe like years ago or whatever and has always struck in like has been stuck in them and they're going to be walking past like a store or something like oh my god so and so will love this and they're just going to go in and like literally come like like a little kid like oh my god look what i saw and it reminded me of you so when i say they're coming with a gift i'm not talking about like you know an engagement ring or anything like that i mean it could be but i'm just talking about it's like something that may seem small to some people but the emotional um, aspect of it behind it is really really big so that is all that I get for you Aries and thank you for watching bye bye